Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moon Outdoors. Guess what? I'm saying goodbye to the straps. You know why? Because I got this lock wrap. And I'm also saying goodbye to this cable when I need to lock my kayak to the roof rack. So this video is going to be kind of like a first look unboxing installation of a lock rack. They have four different models, kind of, or you could say they have five different models, but they're facing out the last one I'm going to be mentioning. So this one is a lock rack universal rack X. This is good for kayaks, canoe, and also standard pedalboard. You can even stack two standard pedalboards. And the main purpose of this rack is you are going strapless. You don't need a strap anymore. And also you can lock it without any cables. All right, let's open it up. So you have your instruction here. This part comes with the cross part adapters. You got eight of them here. If you already have a T-Track on your crossbar, you don't need this. This can go directly to the T-Track, but I don't have a T-Track. So basically, you get four arms and four bases, and you get two space bars. And it also comes with four keys. So you basically push the arms in, and it's locked in place. You need a key to release the arm. You get your special bolt. If you have a T-Track on top of your crossbar, this will go directly to the T-Track, just like the gear track on your kayak. And you get eight of these. So this is the adapter, it's gonna go on your crossbar. This is compatible with round, square, arrow, and most of the stock roof racks. So this is a Universal X water sport carrier. And the other three models are surfboard carrier and single standard paddleboard carrier and surf ski X carrier. You got your base here and you have your spacer bar which will go in here and you space it out accordingly. Depends on the width of your kayak. So I got three kayaks here. I got the old Hobi. Adventure Island, I got Stealth Fusion 480, and I got Poor Man's Tarpon 120. They are all kind of narrow kayaks uh, for fishing kayaks. This one is 29 inches wide, this one is just under 27 inches wide, and this one is 28 inches wide. So I'm gonna take the rubber boot out. So really, really nice padding here, rubber padding, very thick. Looks very durable. And these holes right here will match up with the hole right there. So you can go all the way in or you can go this far out. So I think this is a good space for my kayaks. So on your adapter, these are two pieces. One has a hole on top and the other one is solid. So we, you remove the rubber gasket or patty, I should say and put your key bolt in there put the rubber gasket back on plastic washer right on there and you feed and you feed the bolt through the hole on your base and you secure it with the nut this is a lock nut so you don't have to put any lock tight or anything and I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter socket make it nice and snug and I'm going to repeat this three more times here
Okay, that part is done. All right, the second one is done as well. So let's put this on the, the crossbar. So you put the bolt in the bottom of the adapter, right in there. And you got a Allen bolt right here. This is a five millimeter. up a little bit so last thing you can do is to put the board padding back on okay one is all done I'm gonna work on the other one and once I'm done I'm gonna load up my kayak and go for a test drive. So I just drove around and I got it up to 65 miles per hour. Man, this thing is solid, solid. As you can see, I still got my bow line and stern line. That's just for backup. Um, I always use it uh, even with the strap in case the strap fails, the kayak doesn't fly off the car. So this is my uh, narrowest kayak. So I'm gonna go back home and uh, load my Hobby Adventure Island, which is my widest kayak. For the base, I could have made it narrower but if that's the case i was afraid that the arm is going to stick out a little more um, so that so that's why i made the base a little bit wider i'm almost in i only got two holes showing on this side and i think i got three holes showing on that side at this base position it can accommodate much much wider kayak as you can see we got this much room here and same thing we're gonna have that much room over there as well so I got the AI on here and uh, yeah, solid, solid. I mentioned earlier there's another model, uh, but they are going away with it. Uh, they still have some in stock, uh, which is Universal Water Sport XL Extra Large. It doesn't have this bend to it, so it can accommodate much higher kayak. Unfortunately, this one does not accommodate the bigger kayaks like Hobie PA. Uh, but they still have the uh, XL in stock and I also seen a lot of people use this on the trailer as well so they can lock their kayak up so what I think about them I like it I like it I am so excited not using the strap anymore at times when I need to lock my kayak I don't have to carry this in the lock anymore I like to be transparent I did not purchase the lock rack 
I reached out to them and I asked them if can, they can send me one so I can try it and do a review, honest review. And uh, yeah, they sent me one. This is not very well known. Uh, I only found out about them because my buddy uses it and he's been using it for a couple of years now and uh, he loves it. And every time I saw it, I was like, man, they're so innovative. And uh, I love the fact that you can lock your kayak. Like, I don't have to worry about it when I go to the restaurant, my kayak on top. And strapless, so easy. And I'm gonna use it for a couple months and I'll let you guys know um, a little couple months update and probably maybe six months, one year down the road. I'll give you guys an updated review. So yeah, this, this guy, this product is very innovative. They are actually made in South Africa. My kayak is made in South Africa. Pretty, pretty cool product. I like it. I like it a lot. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And go outside and enjoy the outdoors.